thighs. You're making that connection. Big inhale with that pelvic floor through the inside thighs. Gently release the heels down. Cut the corner with the back foot and then turn. Lift up the ball of the foot and bend into that front knee. So the hips are dead level with your mat. So that with that longer um, rectangular bit down the side. Now when you squeeze your bum and thighs, that will connect with the floor. So you're into your warrior two position. Option to lift that heel off to challenge. So allow that breath, big inhale, exhale and settle. And press into that back heel, really elongate down that back thigh and squeeze your bum thigh off that leg. Okay, let's go to a sun warrior. So allow that flow of breath and then come back down to your warrior two. Relax the shoulders on the shelf, keep connection in that lower belly through your TVA. Now one more time, big inhale, and really push that back heel into your glutes, the back glutes, then come on back up, relax the shoulders on the shelf, heel comes down. Come back through that center, so just turn that ball of the foot and feel that wideness of your breath, and then exhale down. So I'm gonna to transition to the other side. So tuck the tail under, really soft and gooey up the top, but really strong here and relax the heels down. So this time we're gonna cut the corner here and then turn out the knee and ankle on the other side. So option again to lift on up, coming into that warrior two position. So you squeeze your bum and then this will open up the hips towards your front of your mat. So feel that breath come and go. And then just gently keep that knee on top of the ankle at the front and keep squeezing that back heel to your glutes and then come back to your warrior two. So you're, you're in your sun warrior, now you're in back into your warrior two, so feel that strength of this leg, squeeze the bum there, tail tucks under and really zip up, and feel that breath wide. So come back to that wideness, relax your shoulders, that's it. So you're dripping through the shoulders, but your connection through your core and your TVA, your pelvic floor and your TVA. Back to your warrior two, and keep squeezing that back heel into your glutes and pull in and breathe at the same time. And gently just come down, I'm gonna just lift up the ball of the foot again, and then come on up through the heels. Big inhale, and set the shoulders on the shelf. Good job, come back up, exhale and just release that through. Okay, so I'm gonna come back towards the mat again, and we're gonna come back into your roll down and push up and roll down and leg pull pro. So you're gonna alternate between those two. So feet hip distance, make sure you're completely on your mat or off so the feet have got good balance. So everything starts from the ground up. Take your breath in. So you don't have to lift the hands to yoga lattes. Come back up. So you're going to combine the roll down, so I'm going to draw that chin in. So I'll just show you the easy way first. So say that was your range or even higher, then just bend into the knees and walk it out. So walk it out to an easy press up, wide there. So your face comes in front of the fingertips and draw your core in. I'm only looking for one to three, I don't mind six, so long as they're like two seconds on the way down and two seconds on the way up, because we're looking more for quality as opposed to quantity. Bring the hands back in, so I'll just show you this one into your range. So say your range was here, then you pick that range back up and gently flow up. So you don't have to lift the hands. Big inhale, widen some of your breath, squeeze your bum and thighs into the pelvic floor, into your TBA. So I'm gonna show you a little bit harder now, so obviously if you go to the floor, a little bit more you can. So I'm gonna put in your V-stick pose or your downward facing dog when we come up. So I'm gonna take the hands a bit wider and then just settle the knees down so they're nice and relaxed um, on top of your mat so you're not hurting your knees. So the feet can be tucked under or they can be there, whatever you want. Full press up if you need to. So I'm gonna exhale on the way down and inhale on the way up, but that's up to you. So I'm going to bring that back in and gently float up. So I'm going to come back up and really 
feel that stretch happening through your spine. You're elongating the muscles at the back of the legs too. Let's put that leg ball prone in as well. So squeeze in your bum and thighs, relax your shoulder blades. So you're gonna come in with a high plank leg ball prone. So I'm not gonna change my hands this time. They're just gonna stay underneath my shoulders. So really pull in through that pelvic floor. So you can do that if you need to. And then if you want to go a little bit tougher, here. So you're just exchanging. You're in leg pull prone or high plank position and you're squeezing into your bum and thighs and feeling that core connection. So feel that wideness of your breath head in line with the rest of your spine and gently roll up again. So then drop the heels more towards the ground and head between the elbows. Then walking it up in your own time. Big inhale on the way up and then exhale out there and draw into your core. Big inhale, exhale out. Lock into that pelvic floor, lock into your TVA, so rolling down again. So this time I'm gonna go wide press up again. So I'm going wide press up again, and I'm going a little bit tougher, I'm going into a full press up. So even if you just do one, at that challenging one, and then roll back up. So keep that breath alive. You don't have to exhale on the way down. You can exhale wherever you need to, so long as you pull into your pelvic floor when you're doing that. Come back to your hand shoulder distance. Drop more heels down now, so really elongating the backs of the knees, the hamstrings, head between the elbows, seat bones high. Gently walk this in, so really pull into that pelvic floor as you're coming up and really tighten that TBA. Big inhale, exhale. Superb, so we're gonna float down again. So we're rolling back down. I'm gonna put a narrow press in. Let's put a narrow press. So if you prefer one or the other, or the leg pull prone, that's fine. Down on the knees if you need to. So I'm gonna lift up that leg. That's quite tough. So make sure your shoulders feel all right. I'm gonna change over, squeeze your bum and thighs. It's kind of like a combination of a leg pull prone with a narrow press. So elbow stay hugging into your rib cage. So feel that breath alive, feet are hip distance. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze into that pelvic floor, into the TVA. Drop the heels, make that stretch happen in the backs of the legs. Head between the elbows. Gently walk it in towards your feet. Feel that breath come in. Big, wide lateral thoracic breath. Exhale, let's just do one more press up. So you're gonna roll down, chin drops in. So the only time you're gonna hear me say drop the chin towards the chest is in a Pilates roll down. I'm gonna walk it forwards, taking the hands wider again. Drop to the knees if you have to, so face in front of the fingertips. I'm gonna exhale on the way down, inhale on the way up. So keep connection in the pelvic floor and keep squeezing your bum and thighs so you're really taut through your body. So you're gonna exhale down, inhale back up. Hands are shoulder distance, drop the heels, really feel the stretch of the backs of the legs. Drop the heels a little bit further than you think you can and then walk this in, gently walk it in. Big inhale, wide lateral thoracic press, drop the shoulders on the shelf, squeeze your bum and thighs, come back forward. Nice job, excellent. So I'm gonna come forward again and then feel that breath come and go. I'm gonna take that front leg back again. This time I'm gonna keep that heel down if you want to go more warrior one position, just pick up the ball of the foot and press it out, hips to the front of the mat. Feel that breath come in and exhale. Drop the shoulders on the shelf. You can bring the hands to prayer if you want to. Gently just take the hands into the wideness of that breath. Hands come to the hips, lift up the back heel, draw the ball of the foot and then push it again. Swap sides. So normal calf stretch if you want, or just turn the back toe out and the hips stay to the front, front knee in line with ankle. Take that breath, wide lateral breath. Exhale, relax the shoulders on the shelf. 
and keep working through the legs. That's it. So warrior one, you're still on the legs and feeling that breath come and go. So feel that breath into your heart. Big inhale, exhale and zip that pelvic floor tight. Flatten out the belly as well, the TVA. Hands on the hips. I'm going to lift that back heel up. Lift through and then push forward. So you come into the front of your mat. So the feet can be together or slightly apart. So I'm going to just do a sun salutation. So you squeeze your bum and thighs, exhale, and bending into the knees quite a lot. So you're going to take the front leg back into a lunge, big inhale. So you're propped over that front leg and press that power through the back of that leg. Exhale, back to downward facing dog, head between the elbows, float forward to plank, half plank, or come to box. It's up to you. So you can go half plank with the knees down or just drop through. That's quite tough, so you don't have to box position if you want. So cobra and then upward facing if you want to. Tuck back, exhale back to downward facing. Bend the knees, you're gonna shoot that front leg forwards. Big inhale, come forwards. And then I'm gonna exhale and really open up. Good, back to your inhale breath, prop it up on the fingertips, power of that back heel, push forwards. Take your breath, inhale up, squeeze your bum and thighs, relax your chin. Let's go down again, exhale. So each time getting further and further, bend the knees a lot if you need to. Then take the back leg back to a lunge, inhale. Good, front knee on top of ankle, feel that power of the legs, step back and exhale, energize. Drop the heels down. Now move forwards to plank, half plank or box position if you need to. I'm gonna just gently come on down. So I'm gonna scoot right through to the upward facing, but you don't have to. There, inhale top dog, exhale to downward facing. Heels down, bend the knees. I'm gonna take that back leg forward. Big inhale, come on through, open up. Gently come on down, back to your inhale. Step the back leg in. Good job, feel your breath come in. Do it one more time each side. Big inhale, exhale, bend the knees a lot. Slowly come through, let your breath go. Step back, front leg back. Inhale, feel that length of your spine and keep pushing out the back heel. Now press back down, exhale to down facing, palms press down. Now roll that spine forward into plank, half plank or box position with just a cat stretch. So you can go all the way down or come straight to up, squeeze your bum and thighs there. Tuck under, exhale breath. Heels are down a little bit more than you think you can, see how far they can get. Bend the knees, take that front leg forwards, inhale breath. Exhale out. Now inhale back into your lunge, prop yourself up. Feel the power of the back leg, really elongate, step forward. Exhale, now inhale up. Feel your breath come to you. Exhale all the way down, tuck in that pelvic floor. TVA pulled in, so back leg lunges back. Inhale back, lift up the forehead so you're over that front leg. Step back, breathe out. Let that breath go, really tighten up through your core. Come forwards into your plank, half plank or box. So you can just gently come down to your cobra there if you need to. I'm going straight to upwards. Squeeze your bum and thighs, pelvic floor tight. Come on back, exhale back to your downward facing dog. So I'm gonna bend the knees to get that energy coming forward. So back leg comes in and then turning through. So you can place the hand underneath the shoulder. Feel that exhale breath. Now inhale and close. Exhale, step forwards. Inhale and lift. Superb, big inhale. Exhale and release that down. Nice job if you did that, well done. Superb, so you can always do a box.